These may look like a regular pair of glasses, but I'm actually wearing smart glasses that can project a tiny display in the corner of my field of view. These are the Halliday smart glasses and I'm checking them out at CES 2025. So these connect to your phone and they can display information just above your point of view. So for example, in my demo here at CES, I tried a translation demo where someone spoke to me in Mandarin and I was able to see the translation in English. And it was really simple. It worked relatively quickly, even though the Wi-Fi isn't great here. But there are a bunch of other use cases that I haven't been able to try yet. And this does work with iPhone and Android, so we should be able to work with whatever phone you have. Um, and again, I haven't tried it too much because there have been some technical issues, but I was impressed with how quickly the translation worked. So when you're looking at the display, it's a little circle shape right above here. Like this is where it sits in my field of view. The text is green, so this isn't a color display. It's pretty big and clear and easy to see. So it's easy to read when you look up, but you do have to kind of adjust. There's a module inside the glasses that you can adjust to make sure it's in the right place for your field of view. So they feel pretty lightweight. They feel like a regular pair of glasses. And that's because a lot of the processing is happening either on your phone or in the cloud. There isn't that much that's happening inside the glasses themselves. One that makes them more comfortable and lighter and it also extends battery life. And the other thing to keep in mind here is that the technology inside of this is proprietary. It's not Google Gemini or something like that. Like if the AI and everything that's happening in here is from the company itself. I wasn't able to try this in my demo, but eventually the glasses will also have a proactive AI virtual assistant that should be able to be helpful without needing as much prompting. Now, the other cool thing about these glasses is that there's actually a companion ring that works with them that you can use to control the device. So if you want to scroll or move to another screen or something like that, you don't have to talk to the glasses. You don't have to like necessarily reach up and touch them. You can just use the ring. And in the future, this isn't something that will be available yet, but in the future, they really want to put biometrics in that ring so that you can see fitness data on the glasses, which I think is really compelling. Now, this isn't the only company to be doing something like this. Uh, Google has also uh, just announced Android XR recently, which is a new platform made for smart glasses. So that'll be interesting to keep an eye on where this space goes. But so far, I'm really impressed with how much these look and feel like a regular pair of glasses and how quickly the translation technology works. Check out CNET for more details.